Hello, my name is Jorge Casillas from the University of Granada, Spain. In this video we will see how to generate a rock curve containing the results of different algorithms in order to see in a unique plot how they are performing. So we expect to obtain something like this. Well, let's see how to do it. Here we have several algorithms we want to compare. All of them are for classification. We are applying cross-validation classical or in a classical way. In order to do it properly, it is very important that the configuration of the uh, cross-validation must be exactly the same. So the settings on all of them need to be exactly the same. In my case, I use stratify sampling uh, using the class for stratification and fixing a seed. This is very important. We need to fix a seed, a random seed. Of course, not, don't need to be, to be this configuration, but must be exactly the same in all cases. Exactly the same. Okay, well, we apply, we run the algorithms uh, for five factor validation and we obtain this prediction table as usual. Thanks to using exactly the same settings, we have exactly the same order of the row. Here you see 0, 1, 2, 8, 14. If we see the results in this other case, is exactly the same 0 1 2 8 14 we need this to generate the rock cure and the other things it is important uh, for the configuration is the predictor here we have to check this option append columns with normalized class distribution by default this option is uh, unchecked and we need to, to check it Sometimes in other kinds of algorithms, here for example, for example with a tree ensemble predictor, the name is slightly different. Here is append individual class probabilities, not the overall prediction, but individual class probabilities. So we need this information also for generating rock cube. Well, once we have run these algorithms with these settings, then let's see how to generate the rock curve okay we are using this flow variable to generate the name of the column that we will need based on the positive class so as we used in previous videos here string configuration we are this defining the name of the positive class. Each data set will have a different name for the positive class. So here we say which one it is. We have in this case two possible classes, malignant and benign, and malignant is the positive one. So with this, this uh, node, that can be obtained from nine quick forms, we can generate the flow variable. And it is useful to automatically define the, is this, uh, the name of the column. So here we have the result of one of the algorithms. And this is the column we are looking for. So with the flow variable, we are generate, we are able to generate the name of this column, where the the format is p and present present classes equal malignant in uh, this case. So with the string manipulation here with the, something like this, we are generating this string as a flow variable. Then we are sending the flow variable to column filter. You know, to see to link it, you have to right click, 
and show flow variable ports and then we will see the red circle and then we can link it so in column filter what we have something like this and the column we are looking for is named by the flow variable as you see here so in name pattern we use this flow variable we with the string we generate prop positive name pattern pattern okay the name is exactly the one the name of the flow variable we generated here so we have this node exactly the same for that is receiving each of the four possible results we want to gather in a unique row curve and then the output of each node is this column the column of the with the name we decide so we need one column per algorithm plus the class column with the, the true class column this one this one is exactly the same in all the algorithms so we just need to get one column from one of the data sets in my case I used this from the first data set with the result so we get this this class then with column appender we generate something like this we have the true class and then the pro the probability or the the confidence of classifying each instance depending of the algorithm according to the positive class malignant okay now we are going to rename these columns to give the name of the algorithms here in this part we are receiving a table with the name of the algorithms this table is generated here column name and then the names in the exactly the same order c4.5 knife base random forest in case we are not using the four possible inputs we can use a word like null to avoid using this entrance okay so with table column to variable what we are generating is a flow variables with the values of the table so we have we have the first instance c for for the c4.5 the second second row knife vice etc so column rename we here choose the four columns with the probabilities of the four algorithms and the name we want to change is fixed through flow variables like here so we have four and then here we have the new column name for the first one that's the zero is row zero row one row two row three okay then the so the output is like this we have class uh, we haven't we haven't changed it and then these new names for the columns including this uh, null input because we are not using the four possible inputs to generate this fourth inputs what we can do for example is taking one of the outputs of the of a real outputs and then use constant value column to generate a new column with the name of the p class malignant here i could use flow variables uh, getting from a string configuration or to to make it even more automatic and a, a value that lasts like zero or whatever it's like always the same value okay mm. well then we have uh, this output we will filter 
the columns with the name null, starting by null, so we are not using this fourth input, and we can use this with column filter and in wildcard, wildcard using something like this. With this regular expression, we are saying that all the columns, columns starting by the name null, so it can be null 1, null 2, null or whatever, we are avoiding this column, we are filtering, removing. So we removed this null column. And finally, rock curve. Rock curve is using also the by flow variable the positive class. So in rock curve, the setting is like this. We are using the class as the class column, we use the class, and for the positive class value, we can use flow variables to generate this, where is it? Here. Positive class, string cell, using string input, where we are containing the name of the positive class. So, using this trick, we can use the same node for any data set with different names of the positive class. Okay, so this is not being used we are using the string cell value and then we use all the columns each columns with the prediction of one of the algorithm so this is the result here we see the raw cure of the three algorithms we have here the legend with the name of each one and in, parenth in between parenth parentheses we have the area under cure I have configured it to generate this image. Uh, I use uh, this, the width and it's exactly the same, so we can get a square format. It is better square format for rock cube, so exactly the same name, the same uh, size of in the horizontal and vertical axis. Well, we are finishing. The output, the second part, is the area under curve, so we rename this with AUC here, and that's all. We have this result. These columns, this column with the area under curve, can be attached to a table with the remaining results. We saw in previous videos how to obtain the precision measures and the model size, so we obtained something like this for several algorithms. So here we can attach a new column with the area under curve by using column appender with the result of the second part here. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, see you in the next one where we will see how to obtain a data from results from training and tests to compare and to obtain to see how the algorithm is overfitting so we will see this in a in the next video see ya